Oh, good morning, people of the tube. I've been, I've been told I have to speak louder by Joe behind the camera. Hi. Hello. Hello to you. Hope you're well today. Today is video free. <gasps> oh, how many tones can you get out of one amp? And today we are doing my one of my personal heroes, Mr. John Fashanti. Um, John is renowned for using Marshall amps, Fender Strats, Fender Telecasters, Gretsch White Falcon, a black Gibson Les Paul Custom. Uh, he's renowned for having a pedal board bigger than this house. Um, apart from a Californication area where he had a small pedal board, but we we'll, won't go too much into depth at that point in huh? time. Uh, so, what have I done here uh, to kind of emulate his sound? Well, what I've done for the Clean Channel is I've set up to be kind of John's main kind of cleanish sound because one mistake that people always make is John Shanty doesn't have a clean sound. It's not 100% Fender crystal clear clean sound. It's got a bit of grit to it because his his amps he used live. Uh, he ran he had a stereo setup and the amps he ran live were a Marshall Silver Jubilee an 80s Silver Jubilee and a Marshall Major. The Marshall Major is the big 200 watt monstrosity uh, and he ran that with a volume somewhere around 8-ish. It was very, very loud. It like somewhere, somewhere between 7 or 8. Um, so it's about like, you know, 1, 2, 3 o'clock. So super loud. Bear in mind it's 200 watts. And he also ran the Silver Jubilee flat out on the clean sound. And whichever way you put that, they're not going to be clean. They are going to break up because Marshalls do that. Um, so his clean tone isn't necessarily clean. So that's kind of like one of the first things I want to kind of make sure. So I've gone for a kind of um, gritty, overdrive, uh, overdriven, kind of crunchy, kind of clean sound. And uh, it also boosts that sound with an MXR micro amp. It's a little white pedal about that big. I think I spoke about it in the Jack White video. Uh, to give him a bit more kind of, um, a bit more kind of gr uh, gain, so to say. So that's kind of, um, is kind of clean sound. And to, uh, to em emulate that, I've had to winch my pickups on my strap. I'm using my Rogue One strap. I've had to put my pickups really high to get like maximum output out of um, the guitar to kind of emulate that that kind of grind uh, at, a, at a kind of like you know decent low volume without killing myself in the process. Um, distortion wise, John uses the Boss DS2, always has. Um, it's his kind of main. It's like the one pedal is kind of like a mainstay. Uh, there's like three main pedals that are mainstay of John. I'll get into them in a minute. But the Boss DS2 is his main distortion pedal. And it has it set to a boost setting, so that's kind of like a boosted kind of mid-range setting. So, uh, what I've done on the, on the CL120, and I'll, I'll show you the settings in a sec, is uh, I've just kind of put the mid, the, the middle uh, dial, the mid uh, EQ in just a little bit on distortion, and it gives me this, and it gives kind of like a, a nice warm kind of fuzzy kind of sound, which is what John's got. Um, as I say, uh, I'm going to do a bit. Do a bit more talking at the end of the video if you want to. If you want to hang around, and I'm going to talk a bit more about John's setup and the way it works and all that kind of thing. And I'm also going to give you uh, my recommendations if you want a, a budget setup to be like John Shanty. I'm going to give you my recommendations of what you need to go out and get. But first, let's show you the EQ on the CR120. Okay, so what have we done with the EQ? Well, volume is on ten. Uh, bass is on four and treble is on four. So this is kind of like John's kind of main, um, main kind of rhythm sound. It's, yeah, as I say, it's not it's not clean, clean, you know, crystally clean. It's got a bit of break up, and I say you'll hear that in a minute. Uh, moving over to the dirty channel. Uh, volume is on ten. Treble is on nothing, so that's off totally. Uh, middle's on one. Bass is on two, and gain is all the way up on ten. Uh, I'm not using reverb as John, 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 well the amps that John uses they don't have reverb so we're not going to use reverb. He did use a reverb pedal but only every now and again didn't use it a great deal. Uh, volume is on the usual setting of 2. So there are the EQ settings. Let's let, let's let, I'm speaking in tongues. Help me! Uh, I'm, I'm getting possessed. Anyway, let's show you what it sounds like. Okay, so what does it sound like? Well, I don't know what my hands are doing. Um, just one quick more quick thing before I show you what it sounds like. Bearing in mind that John was the only guitarist in Chili Peppers, so his clean tone, not necessarily clean, his gritty tone, I'm going to call it gritty because it sounds like that, 
it had to be big it had to fill the space so it would it, if it was like crystal clean it wouldn't have worked so this is what it sounds like uh john really only used the back pickup and the neck pickup i'm going to start with the neck pickup uh i'm going to do danny california and um if you kind of listen to his live recording you kind of get a better idea because on the album version it, his guitar is mixed fairly lowish uh and it kind of because it's mixed so low it kind of takes away some of the grunt of his guitar it sounds a lot cleaner than it actually is so <laughs> Two, which I'm not going to do just yet. I don't want to get some distortion just yet. And you also get your kind of like scar tissue. <laughs> So it isn't really clean. There's a lot of bite. There's a lot of kind of oomph to it. There's a lot of you know. It's big. It's a big sound. And uh, back pickup, you get your kind of like uh, more funk kind of things. Like if you have to ask. distorted kind of sound. You kind of get those real kind of nice kind of lead lines. What is it? That's it. <laughs> like stuff like that and the californication are like... sound clean but it's not there, there is a slight bit of kind of like you know girth so to say a bit of bite to the sound uh distortion wise um this is the kind of uh, distortion sound i've got <laughs> straight in it's all about that at this point in time not like what pedals do what uh bang or what pedal you'd be <laughs> kind of crazy wild at the end but that's the distortion sound and say for chords it's monstrous if you do kind of like the danny california cor uh, chorus uh which is used neck pickup um it never comes off the neck pickup in that entire song so it sounds like this <laughs> Really close. That is really close. And I say, being a John Fashanti nut, 
Uh, I've studied it at Nantes until the cows came home, and they haven't come home yet, so I'm not finished. Um, but that sounds really close to me without, uh, like, you know, having a, a DS2, an Ibanez Wawa pedal, and a chorus pedal. Um, let me know what you think. Say, so, to me, that sounds really close. So now, um, I just want to play one more thing as well, just to kind of uh, demonstrate another thing is, uh, we did play Snow, and I say this is just another thing to kind of reinforce that fact that the clean tone needs to be big. Because when you play kind of, uh, that Snow kind of sound like a normal clean tone, it sounds a bit like this. <laughs> It's, it's, it's okay, it sounds about right, but it's a lot more dirty than that. It's kind of a lot more grunty. It also digs in really hard, Drop Shiny does. And it's a big, it's got to be big. It's got to be huge, because you're the only guitarist in the band, and you've got to be, you know, your clean tone has to be big, so it's not really clean. Anyway, uh, it's going to talk a bit more about uh, John's setup now, and um, yeah. I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Hello again! Um, as I say, let me know what you thought it sounded like. So let me know how, how close you reckon it was. To my ear, that's really close. That is really close. Without actually having two marshals and a big pedal board and a 1962 Fender Strat. Um, just because John's one of my heroes, I do want to like, just talk about a few things at the end of the video. And I've saved them for the end of the video so you know people who are interested can turn off. Um, I want to talk a bit more about his setup and uh, kind of how it how it worked because there's kind of a lot of things there's kind of a lot of kind of things out there that I kind of I've read and, and what on it and they're kind of they're, well they're not right it's, it's a few kind of like ideas of what he did and they're not really it's not really right um, from his amps John ran into a uh, an old Boss CE I think it was a CE two I think that's what it's called a chorus ensemble pedal it's a big grey pedal it was a really old one. It's about so big and it's great, and he runs both amps into that, and then it comes out uh, like you know into his pedal pe into his pedal train. So basically, he's running these amps in stereo, and although he only had he had three double stacks, uh, he only had it for his main kind of like uh, clean kind of and distortion sound of sounds. He only ever used one cab, and if you look at his cabs in the background, you'll notice that some in the by the way era. And the Californication era, he mic'd up the top two, so the angled cabs. He had the, top, the angled cabs mic'd up. In uh, Stadium Arcadium era, he had the B cab mic'd up to give him, I don't know, obviously a bit more. Because his sound is different in Stadium Arcadium, so it's a bit more, a bit more, uh, a bit more boomy, a bit warmer. So um, he went to the B cabs for that. Uh, but he does run them in stereo, like, you know, one amp isn't for distortion, one amp isn't for clean. They're both doing the same kind of thing. They're both doing. They are both kind of like the amalgamation of his sound, so that's how that ran. The as you're looking at his three stacks, the one on the right, the the far right one, he didn't have any pedals. That was just straight in. That was for his Les Paul. And uh, he also had a Fender. Uh, I forget offhand what it was. I think it was a Bandmaster, but don't quote me. Uh, he used to run his Gretsch through that in the Californication. You can see on top, and he did it in the by the way area, but it was what wasn't on stage. But uh, that's how he ran his amps, they were in stereo. So uh, basically one cab each to uh, the heads and they, were, they ran in stereo out to his board. Now from his chorus pedal, he went through his, his various effects, but uh, the main effects were his DS2 and his Ibanez Wa, and I say his chorus pedal. And um, you know, his sound was split uh, stereo whether the chorus was on or not. So you know, that, that kind of gave him a bit more, a bit more fatness. That's a big play. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. Supremely low and very, very loud. Anyway, back to John Shanty. Uh, and they're the kind of like three main pedals that kind of like he used. I mean, he, he has like a delay pedal. He has like, you know, uh, his, his Mooga Fuga pedal, had pedals, like, like mini synths. And he also has like, you know, stuff like MXR, uh, uh, clean, uh, clean micro boost and um, loads of other stuff. But, um, it's very important to note that you always run your DS2 distortion if you go for that kind of you know, proper job shape thing after your Ibanez Wah Wah pedal. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do another video further down the line explaining about this a bit more because I'm going to do a how to play a job shanty thing. Uh, but um, that's kind of important. So it, it, it kind of your signal chain will go kind of chorus pedal, uh, Wah Wah pedal, and then a distortion pedal. And um, if you try it, you'll know why. You get that kind of really intense wah-wah sound. And I explained about it in the Jimi Hendrix paddleboard uh, video, actually. You kind of, uh, I think that's where he got it from. So yeah, that's where a lot of people get it from. So um, 
you know, it gives you a really intense kind of wary, filtery sound. But um, coming down to the guitars, say anything really with single coils, and he's not really renowned for humbuckers. He, he did have a Gibson Les Paul, um, but most of the time it's just, you know, stock vintage guitars. I have heard rumour that he's 54. I think it's 54. He's 54 strapped with a maple neck, the two tone sunburst one. It has got Seymour Duncan SSL something or another pickups in it, but I don't know how true that is. According to his guitar tech, he's 62, he's totally stock. Uh, his Telecasters were stock, his Gretsch was stock, um, and his Les Paul was stock. So um, anything with real with a single coil snap, you'll be able to get his kind of sound really. So you don't have to go Fender, you can go Squire, you can go Vintage, you can go. Uh, like you can go anything really with as long as they've got like single core pickups and they've got that kind of snap that a strat's got you know you're, you're in business really um yeah so uh, i just want to talk a bit about that my recommendations if you want to go for a proper job for shanty setup is amp wise you want to kind of go for an orange a marshall a vox uh anything that's kind of got that british kind of sounding mid-range grunt uh, kind of so to say really so okay yeah say Vox Marshall or Orange any of them three will do you fine um, this cuts on corners you don't have to buy as many pedals if you buy this because you've got channel switching which is really cool um, pedal wise there's three main pedals as I say it's a chorus pedal it's a wah wah pedal and it, it's a distortion pedal and the Boss DS2 is a cheap cheap pedal it's like 40 quid which is equivalent to I don't know I don't, I don't know what the exchange rate is. Look, look it up on the internet, wherever you are. Uh, John used an Ibanez Wah Wah pedal. I wouldn't particularly recommend the reissue. I've got one. It's great, but it saps the tone massively. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do a little video on that at some point as well. Uh, and a chorus pedal. And uh, your chorus pedal doesn't have to have stereo split. It doesn't have to have two uh, two inputs or outputs or whatever it would be. It would be outputs, I suppose. Um, it doesn't matter, really. So, anyway, there are the three main pedals I'd go for. And i say amp-wise, you know, any, anything, you know, Orange, Marshall, uh, Vox, really. Say British grunt kind of sounding. Um, uh, yeah, and that's about it, really. i say anything kind of stratty or telecaster or Gretschy or Gibson-y. Well, not really Gibson it actually, because yeah, you know, unless you want to do the ready-made sound. Anyway, enough of that. I'll see you again on another video. Goodbye now. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye now. Oh, that was a fun to Pete Townsend. Bye.